Hi everyone, Stephen Hitchison here. I'm brilliant to see everybody again. I'm really excited about today and this is the last day of 30 Days of Change. The last day, but it's not going to be the last show. This is just the last in a series of 30 Days of Change. So, and it's all about how to change your past. Now that might sound a bit weird, how can you change your past? You can't change your past, but I believe you can change your past. Or you can't actually change what happened to your past, but I'm going to explain a, a second and how we came about that. So I was talking with one of them, do, I do coaching um, for a few people and we were talking yesterday and I've got this amazing woman that I do coaching with and she's just phenomenal. And it's me meant to be coaching her on business kind of stuff, but we always get into these kind of spiritual talks and these deep and meaningful talks. And that's why I love kind of doing the coaching. And so we were talking about how people get stuck in the past and how people kind of stay there in their mind and they can't really get rid of the past or what's happened in the past. And it was something I'd said um, that L had told me something, a guy called Neville Goddard, who's a kind of new thought, kind of writer from the past. And it kind of resonated with me. And it's what I said is kind of more or less what he said as well. And basically, you can change the past or you can't change the event of the past, but you can change your feelings towards what happened in the past. Now think about if something bad has happened to you, and I'm going to tell you a story in a second. If something bad has happened to you in the past, so when you were a child, when you're a child, that bad thing that happened is your whole world. And as a child, your world is extremely small. It's extremely small. So that event that happened when you were a child was gigantic. It was a massive thing that happened. But as you get older and as you mature, then that thing that happened is not quite as big as it was because your world has expanded. There's different things happening. You may have had kids yourself and you've got a job and you've got a house to look after and you've got responsibilities. So that thing that happened in the past is not quite so huge. However, we carry it through to make it even bigger as adults in our minds because what's happening we're now not seeing the thing that happened, the event that happened in the past from a child's perspective, where it should be, but we're also internalising it from an adult perspective, which means it becomes bigger and it becomes stronger and it becomes more emotional than when it actually happened when you were a child. So this is how we carry through what's happened in the past into a present day but as adults we internalize it in a different way and we kind of blow it up in our minds as adults as well and that's where we get stuck in the past so we need to kind of drop what's happened in the past and a way to drop it which is not easy i'm not saying because there's a lot of shitty things happened um to people out there to a lot of people to be honest everybody's had something really shitty happen to them and so it's not a competition of this happened to me, mine's is worse than yours or yours is worse than mine or whatever. It's nothing to do with that. But understand that everybody has had really shitty things happen to them in the past. And how we deal with that is how we move forward in our lives. But some people are stuck in the past because they're replaying this event over and over and over and over again in their minds. It's like a, a kind of a video recorder it's just getting stuck on loop. So it's just being looped all the time and we cannot get out of that cycle with the something that's happened in the past. So how do we change that? The first thing to do is to think about the event that's happened in the past and put it into perspective as an adult. So, and again, I don't know your situation. I just kind of go from my situation, from stories I've heard, from the coaching I've done, with other people as well. But as an adult, look at the event that's happened in the past and look at it from afar. So if you look at it from a distance and maybe kind of seeing it happen and then change your feelings towards that event, however traumatic it is. And the way we can do this, there's several ways to do it, but one of the ways you can do it, okay, I'll tell you the story of what, 
what happened to me when I was younger. And this is probably not um, as traumatic as what's happened to some of you, but as a child, to me, it was extremely traumatic. So I was bullied as a child when I was younger, from the ages, I can't remember, maybe six years old up until about nine years old. I was bullied by these two guys at school when I was staying in Edinburgh in primary school. And every day going to school was, it was just traumatic. I hated going to school. I hated those two people in particular because they were really evil. And you, you might say child, children can be evil, but these two, two boys at the time were really quite evil. If I told you some of the stories of what they'd done to animals and stuff like that, it's just kind of horrific, so I'm not going to say anything. But they bullied me as a child. And that kind of stayed with me um, when I got older. And as I got older, it really dented my confidence. I was no good with people. I didn't have the confidence. I was extremely shy, very retiring, and I wouldn't kind of talk to a soul And everybody mentioned how quiet I was all the time. And it was because of that. But then I looked at it as I got older. I looked at it in a different way. And so what I did is unconsciously, I didn't know this technique at the time, unconsciously I took a step back, look at the events that actually happened when they were beating me up, when they were kind of humiliating me and stuff like that as well. And I made those two guys extremely small. So I made the event seem less important in my subconscious mind. So when I seen this event or all the events that happened in the past when I was getting bullied, when I was getting beat up and stuff like that, I made these two guys extremely, extremely small and I was much bigger. I was bigger than them. I had more confidence. They had no right to do that to me and it wasn't my fault. And that's a thing to under understand as well. Whatever's happened in your past is not your fault or whatever's happened in your past as a child is not your fault and you've got to let go of that. It's not even about forgiving yourself because there's nothing to forgive yourself for. It's just about letting go and saying this was not my fault and that's extremely important in your if you're going to get over this and move forward into the future. So the first thing is looking at the event from afar and seeing the people or seeing the incident and making it extremely small and then turn it into a black and white image. So it's not as vivid, it's not colour, and it's not it's not kind of in your face. So turn it into a black and white image, make it extremely small, and then kind of put it in a box in your mind. Now this sounds really easy, and before you dismiss it, try it first. Because it's something I've tried with loads of things in the past, and I've spoke about this before, and it really does work. Having said that, some people don't want to move forward. Some people say they want to move forward, but they're kind of stuck in the past. And that victim role that they've got just now, it kind of suits them on the journey where they are right now. So at the moment, it kind of suits them where they are just now. And that's not putting anybody down. That's just about people not understanding how to get over that or how to kind of move forward into the future. So they stay stuck there and they play that, they're kind of in that victim role. Whereby if you take control of the situation, you change your feelings towards that past event that's happened and internalise it as an adult and change your feelings back to when you were a child as well. Every single thing changes. Now there's other shitty things that have happened to me in the past as well. I'm not going to talk about them Suffice it to say, I've used this technique on everything bad that's going to happen. And, it, and if you do it straight away, if you can do it straight away or a week, two weeks or three weeks after it, um, as an adult, then it's, it's a brilliant way to overcome things. As a child, obviously, you have no control of that. You didn't know any techniques. You might not have spoken to anybody that knew the techniques or anything like that. But now you can change as an adult how you felt as a child as well. And that timeline from child to adult, it'll catch up, you'll both marry each other and you'll meet each other in the present and then you can both move forward into the future. And it's an extremely powerful technique. And it's one of the things people come to me most when they're saying, I can't get rid of the past, I keep going into the past 
and I can't seem to shake it off. So when I'm getting lots of messages on Facebook, and as I said before, I'm not a counsellor, so I can't reply to you and give you specific advice on your or personal advice. I'm not qualified to do that. I'm just a guy who's gone through a lot of shit and and I've dealt with it and I've managed, I've found coping mechanism and ways to cope with it and techniques and tricks to deal with it and I'm just passing it on to you. Whether you think that's rubbish, whether you think it's a brilliant way to do it, then take that advice kind of at your own kind of risk. So I can't respond to you personally and I really do apologise for that because I know there's a lot of people need help out there. But that's why I do these general videos. So you might take some of the tips and tricks and techniques that I've used in my past and, and learn from my psychology degree and learn from all the books I've read and learn from all the people I've coached and everything else just using my experience. So there was another thing that came up as well about how we should forgive the people that done kind of bad things to us in the past. I don't think you should. I know that's probably gone, that's contrary to popular belief and you should forgive everything or everybody that's done wrong to you in the past. I think that's bullshit. I wouldn't forgive some, I wouldn't forgive anybody that had harmed me in the past in some way. I will forget about it, I will use the tips and techniques that I'm showing you here in all these kind of 30 days of change videos, but I certainly wouldn't forgive them. I'm, I'm definitely not up for that and a lot of people come to me and say how, how do I forgive somebody? Don't. You don't need to forgive them. Well I wouldn't forgive anybody that tried to kind of hurt my kids or hurt my wife or hurt anybody that I love or hurt me in the past. There's no way I would forgive them and if they'd done something horrific I definitely wouldn't forgive them either. And as I said I know that goes against contrary or I know it goes against kind of popular belief but I'm just being real, just want to be honest and just say there's no way I would forget, but you can start to kind of forget it and minimise it as much as possible so you're not stuck in the past. If you stay stuck in the past, you're never going to be, be able to move forward into the future and build a better life for yourself and for those who love you as well. So that's what I want to talk about today because I'm getting an awful lot of messages to say that a lot of people are stuck in the past and they want to shake the past and they were asking me how to do that. So as I said, this is general advice for you and I hope it helps some people. Some people are going to be angry at me and I totally understand that. I've got big enough shoulders to take that, so that's cool. And some people will hopefully um, use the tips and techniques to kind of try, try something new that maybe I've not tried before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take or just look at, see if you've got any questions um, and see if this has helped or not, just let me know. So just leave a comment down below, just say yes it helped or um, I'm going to try that or whatever. Or if you've got any questions, just leave a comment down below. So Charlemagne said I tried to change my past through my kiddos. I don't quite understand what that means, Charlemagne. And Julianne Driscoll, if you can recognise the perpetrator was wrong and not blame yourself, you're not a victim. That's very true, Julianne. Very true indeed. And Joanna Vera saying she's going to try it. Brilliant. Brilliant. I hope you do try it. Vera, it'd be good. Or Joanna, sorry. And it'd be good to find out how that worked out for you. Okay, so I'm just, the comments are going really fast just now. And Lenny Chanel saying, thanks Stephen, it really does help me a lot. Good, I hope I hope some people try it, because it is worth a try, as I said. If you've tried everything else and you can't let go of the past, try that technique. And if you missed this um, video, it's going to be going, it'll go up again after the live video finishes. It'll always be there for you, so you can download it or you can just watch it again. If that helps you. Forgiveness gives us relief. Selena Malik. Forgiveness gives some people relief. I would definitely agree with that. It wouldn't give me relief um, if somebody tried to harm my wife or my children. It definitely wouldn't give me relief to forgive them. But I understand where you're coming from. I know that's a Christian kind of point of view and a lot of kind of other kind of points of view as well. Definitely not mine. 
Um, forgiving someone does not mean you agree with what they did. That's Mira Salami. Salama. Well, of course, it, it doesn't mean that either. You're not agreeing with what they did. And I, I know that's not what forgiveness is all about. I'm just saying from a person's perspective, there's no way I would forgive somebody that tried to harm me, my children or my wife or anybody I loved. There's no way I would forgive it. And that's just my, obviously, that's my personal point of view. Hard to forgive, says Saroj, not possible. I think it might be possible for some people. A lot of people can actually forgive. I'm just not one of those people and I don't want to be and I don't pretend to be either. Okay, so I think we're going to stop there just now. There's lots of comments and that and it's always kind of going through. Um, Lynn Sam says forgiveness is very important. It can be to some people, Lynn. Not everybody, not everybody agrees with that. And I know I'm go going against the crowd and everybody says, oh, you should forgive. I definitely don't think you should. Um, you can forget and get on with your life. Um, but that's that's just me. Obviously, there's a lot of differing opinions out there. Thank you very much, Michelle Zaccardi Tamas. Thanks for saying that. I really appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to go just now. I'm so glad I'm back and doing these live recordings. I'll be back tomorrow again. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a series or I'll just come on every day and we'll just talk about a different topic. I think I might do it that way and hopefully that will help some people as well. And But anyway, I'm going to say goodbye just now. If you're kind of watching this, just say hi and leave um, where you're from, leave the country where you're from and share this video as well. If you think it's going to help somebody, share it with your friends, share it with your family and that would be fantastic if you've done that. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye now.